February of 2019, people started hearing rumours that a road might be going through the area and we couldn't find out any information about it. The Eagleby Community and Wetlands Group was formed a few days later. The, the meeting, the invitation only meeting was on March 13. On March the 15th, uh, published in the Queensland Government Gazette was the route, the proposed route of the northern section of the Coomera Connector. Oh, it's shocking. Um, it's going to go right through the middle of it. Um, it'll be affected by noise, light, um, many, many different aspects, uh, vibration. Um, and what's worse is we've got this nice acid that's just under the ground sort of thing. Um, and that will be disturbed, which will change the water course and, and the, the water quality, I believe. Now back then it's actually got the costings and the costing of Livo's design, which they chose, was 40 million. It seems to be 40 million for that path from the Gem Hotel to a ferry road. Now the path through Eagleby is 110. <laughs> That's in that document. Well, what we need to do is to learn about the area, first of all. This is a major wildlife corridor. This is where animals get to go from one place to another. Without these kinds of areas, we can't have biodiversity. If we have animals stuck in very small areas where they cannot contact others of their species, then we're going to have major problems with breathing, etc. This is a corridor, and it's a corridor for all kinds of animals. Um, it includes birds, reptiles, mammals, a whole range of animals. So we need to maintain these corridors and we also need to have areas like this. If this floodplain is interfered with, flooding will back up and many more suburbs will be affected by flooding. Uh, it, the, the, they anticipate that if uh, a road is built with dozens and dozens of very large pylons dug into the soil that uh, the flooding will back up right up to, to Beanley and further beyond. There, that is the middle of the road. Um, it goes from, from that power pole over there, that's the middle of it and it goes up to the next one. It's about 10-15 feet short of both because it flares right out here to go up to that roundabout. Because the government won't say anything, they won't admit or confirm or deny anything or questions but we've definitely put the wind up them. Um, they thought we were just going to protest twice sort of thing and um, take our masks and go home. Um, we will go until the end. There is no if buts or maybes. Cost versus benefit to the environment and the people favoured the environment. You know, that the, the cost to the people wasn't worth wrecking the environment. And they said that back in 1992. Uh, and that document, John The way they describe it to us is that the Bremont Bay Road being part of our idea becomes into our costing of that road. And so does the Jacobs Well Stapleton Road. And they also reckon that because our idea would be putting traffic onto the M1 again, they reckon they have to widen the M1 in order for people to get to the motorway. It's, it's a straight, simple thing. I've even suggested it to TMR when we're in there. How about you forget about the connector at the moment and just build that simply and see what traffic that actually takes off the Logan interchange and how much traffic would be using that rather than going all that way. We need, to, we need to rethink how we're using our car and how much land we need for ourselves.